begin tonight in Afghanistan with the single deadliest loss this is for the just US. such a tragedy. U.S. military personnel lost their lives in, in the a helicopter worst crash. Single incident being called in the single years. deadliest incident since the U.S. war in Afghanistan began almost a decade ago. A United States Army Chinook helicopter carrying 30 American service members, a civilian interpreter, and seven Afghan commandos went down early today. Like here's one from um, a family member of one of the original 17 SEALs just continually telling us that it's a great thing we're doing. The story of Operation Hawkeye began when Will first heard about the shootdown of the Chinook helicopter in August of 2011. I was shooting in the driveway that night with my dad and he told me that this terrible thing is happening. He gave me the details. He was moved by it and the idea that he came up with was to shoot a thousand baskets for each of those Navy SEALs. 17,000 for the 17 SEALs that died on August 6th. And I told him if he was going to do that, that I would donate a penny a basket for every basket he made. And we'd take that money and we'd give it to the charity that the Navy SEALs identified. And it grew from there. I don't think he realized just how much work that represented, you know, when you're 12 years old. But ultimately it ended up about 50, 60 hours worth. Now, on the first night, I was definitely a little bit skeptical if we would be able to make all the shots because I was so sore. It really all started with a little boy saying, I'm going to honor these 17 guys, and not really knowing that it would be anything more than just him in his driveway honoring them. And you know, the fact that some other people took an interest in it, that was great. There was such an outcry of support that we thought it would be good to encourage this cause and to possibly have more support for these people. And so it became more of an annual event. He created a flyer and he stood outside the Safeway and walked door to door. Throughout the three shooting challenges, we're up to around $100,000. Honestly, I thought it was a big deal when we hit three digits, but now we're getting so much higher. It's pretty amazing. Will is just a middle school kid in McLean, Virginia. He doesn't know any Green Berets. He doesn't know any Navy SEALs. He doesn't know any commandos. Without them, none of us would be here. They're not getting much in return. They're just serving their country because that's what they chose to do. And some of them need the financial support, but the help that they need is the support. The, we like what you're doing, the thank yous, that's the stuff that they don't get enough of. And when they come back from serving their country, thinking they're doing us good, and they just don't get enough of a response, that, that's what they need. In Afghanistan, with the single deadliest loss. Like they were really running into trouble. Deadliest they, incident since the U.S. The worst single incident. 30 in U.S. military personnel lost their lives in a helicopter. It's an effort by, by a young man who is demonstrating and manifesting his love for America and his admiration for these special operations people. Some of them are veterans of eight to 10 deployments. And what this shows these people is that somebody back in the United States, not a huge organization, but this is a young person that's doing this so that, you know, the families there and the children of these people will not be forgotten and will be taken care of. You know, yeah, he's raising some money for them and that's all great, but the point is that he is rallying support for them. Now, people are coming to us asking us what they can do to help, and definitely not anything we expected. Will has 31,000 followers on his Facebook page. At the rate that Will's going, he'll have the largest social media following on Facebook of any supporting effort for special operations within the next probably three months. The plan for Labor Day 2013 is to make uh, 3,000 three-pointers and 3,000 free throws for three of the fallen Air Force Special Operations guys who are lost in 8611, and that'll take them about 50 hours. My first deployment in uh, what was then Indochina in 1955, I was working for a Colonel later Major General Lansdale, and I said to him, all the people you have working for you over here in, in a very sensitive type of operation, all of them are very young. And he looked at me and he said, well, when I bring young people in and I tell them to do something, they don't know it can't be done. And they do it. 
And I think that's what, you know, Will Thomas has done. He didn't know this probably couldn't be done. He just went ahead and did it. You know, I think this is a good cause, the military. They deserve all of the stuff they can get. And so I don't see a reason why I should stop.